So I've just unpackaged a bit more. Here's the uh, carburetor. So there's a handle there to operate it. It doesn't appear to have any stops on it. So I'll have to look at that, what that means. But effectively you can see it opening and closing the throttle there. Uh, beautifully machined parts. I mean, they're absolutely lovely. Um, needle valve here. What a lovely mix of aluminium and brass. It's just really stunning. Here's the exhaust. Um, so let's just have a look at this. The exhaust and the intake look like they bolt on by the same flange. We have a oh, we have a copper. It looks like actually no the the exhaust port the exhaust pipe is is part of that flange and then there's another gasket and they intake bolts over the top that's good that's nice so let's have a look at this ah can't I open the packs that would help me if I could, if I could open these <laughs> what happens when you can't open the uh, when you can't open the packaging there are. so you know here's the exhaust exhaust pipe so Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? It's all made up out of copper and look, and just brazed together. A little bit of brazing on there, just uh, cleaned off. Lovely. Um, looks like it mounts there, or that no, definitely goes there, doesn't it? So it looks like it mounts like that. That's the exhaust. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Again, lovely, absolutely lovely. So that bolts on like that, and then the carburetor bolts on, I assume, I assume like that. So we keep the pipe away from the, the fill pipe away from the heat, but that does mean your fingers are a bit close. So maybe it's the other way up, maybe it's that way. I think it must be that way. And then you get the throttle valve, this uh, throttle body. You can operate from the top and you can operate the needle from the front here so that must be the way around that goes together like that and that so that will look lovely here's the handle as we said gaskets here's the the water uh, cooling pipe adapters now what i will do is just have a quick look at these because it looks like when you look at the engine, now there are gas, there's little little grommets in here. But when I look at the engine, you can just see one has been recessed and one is flat. That doesn't obviously fit with that at first. So just need to have a look at what they've done there. And I wonder whether it can't be that you fit two. So what does that mean? What does that, that being flat actually mean? Do I do I just fit? No, that doesn't work. Hmm, strange. That one does work. It works on there, all right. And there's not one that's been... I was thinking one of these might have been machined flat, but they've not been machined with a recess for the actual O-ring. Oh, strange. So we'll have a look at that and what, we, what we're going to do with that. Um, Wow, it's a properly beautiful kit. Now here's the ignition system. Um, looks like this is supplied with a oh, supplied with a full kit. So um, <laughs> RC XL automatic advancing ignition angle model A02. So. Tarba ready control plug, so I'll have to get a power supply for it, that's fine. Um, and then just go through setting that up and find out how to set that up. I'm sure I can find that out online, so that's good. There aren't many really instructions with this, and maybe that's just I've missed them, so we'll check that. There aren't instructions with it, so they're not in the box, so maybe there's something else, but that doesn't matter. We'll, um, we'll look online and I'll ask them if they can send me something in there. 
in the post as or just a, as an, e an email attachment that would be good and we'll get going and that is absolutely i'm just going to just going to admire this engine for quite a while because it's absolutely beautiful let's just check the oil there ah so there is no oil in it that's good so we know now there's no there's no oil in the bottom there again i need to know what oil i'm putting in so i've got to look up that and i've got to look up this how to do this water pipe i've got to find a piece of board to mount it to i've got to make a fuel tank um i've got to make a cooling tank as well so a few little bits to make up before we get this engine running and i think we're gonna have some real fun loving it loving it 